Las Gafas. Eh, 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 eh. Welcome back, everybody. I'm super excited to be back. So I have a little tutorial for you today. No, bitch, I'm not gonna be doing your makeup. I'm not gonna show you how to fucking lose 50 pounds in three days, bitch. That's not what you eh. So I'm gonna do an iced coffee hack for you so you can stop spending your motherfucking at Starbucks with this bitch spending $4. You need to not do that anymore. So I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, iced caramel macchiato cold brew coffee. I know that doesn't make sense, but you'll totally understand, okay? So let's just get into it, okay? Alright, so I already know what a caramel macchiato is. I know what a cold brew is, so you don't have to tell me. Okay, so this is going to be really easy for you to make. I'm using these products because either I've got a fucking discount on them or I've already had them. So don't go out of your way to purchase these exact products. You could always switch something out, something that's more affordable for you. You don't have to be fancy, bitch. Like, I'm just doing this because I like to do this because I love to drink coffee. So I'm not, this is not a fucking paid ad, bitch. I don't know. Starbucks, fuck off. Don't buy Starbucks because this is not an ad for them. Until they pay me, okay, bitch, then I'll tell you to go. But until then, anyways. So I'm going to show you the things that I have. It's going to be really easy, really fun, really simple. And then if any, if there are any substitutions that you can do, I'll let you know, okay? So let's get started. So I have this really cute, like, mason jar thing. I kind of cleaned it because there was caca in it. So um, I basically use this mason jar, and it has a little, like, pitito. So you just go, and then the, the, like, stuff comes out, you know? So you can, you don't have to use this. You can just use, like, a regular fucking pitcher, you know, like the ones that you make aguas frescas in or whatever. Use that, bitch. You don't got to use this, Okay. <laughs> So I have this, um, I have some bottled water. I just, I decided to use like water bottles because like it's gonna be easy for you to remember how much you need and all the recipe stuff so you don't have to do the calculations, okay? So I have that, I got the water. I'm gonna be using this coffee. Why, bitch? Because I have this in my fucking house and I was not gonna go buy fucking more extra coffee. So this is my favorite um, coffee. This is Cafe Verona. Again, you don't have to use Starbucks brand. You can use anything you want. If you wanna use Pete's, if you wanna use fucking coffee bean if you want to have an authentic one use whatever you want don't you don't have to use starbucks i'm only using it just because but if you do use something else you want to make sure that your coffee has a low acidity so if you do choose starbucks the best ones that i would recommend is um ethiopia or kenya i like cafe verona the most because it's a little sweet and nutty and i think it just goes really really well for like a cold bro iced coffee okay so that's that bitch um and then for the actual like iced coffee drink you're gonna have a cup again bitch i keep saying this don't buy a fucking starbucks cup unless you want to pretend like you have starbucks every day so people think you fucking balling on a budget but whatever so you just have a regular cup um you can buy any regular vanilla syrup you can buy them at like walmart or target you don't have to use this one like i said and then i bought this at target this is a caramel like sauce so you go ahead and use this if you want okay so let's get started all right so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to show you how I prepare my iced coffee, okay? This is for the iced coffee cold brew. So I have these filters. I have to think of a better way to do this because it fucking sometimes makes a mess. And if it makes a mess for you, well, fuck, I'm sorry. So you're going to use, here's, let's see, I'm going to use two for this one, two for this one. Okay, cool. So I'm only doing this because... My coffee's not ground, grinded, grounded. I don't know how the fuck you say that. Whatever. My coffee's not fucking, like, grinded, ground. It's not grounded. It hasn't been grinded yet. I don't know if that's fucking correct. Anyway, so this is whole bean coffee. You don't have to use whole bean coffee. If you do, buy it from Starbucks. Go to um, any Starbucks and then have them grind it for you to a French press setting, okay? So you want it to be really thick and coarse because it's going to be a cold brew, okay? So I personally have my own little um, coffee grinder right here. So like I said, bitch, I'm trying to make it as easy for you. Don't get fucking high tech like me because I'm fucking extra and annoying. So I like to do everything the fucking hard way. So what I do, I'm going to put the first bag. I'm going to do, you're going to need nine scoops of coffee in total to make three water bottles worth of cold brew iced coffee. Okay, so I'm going to do three first. I'm going to do them in threes. Okay, so he's going to be, hopefully this... So here's three scoops of the coffee beans and then I go ahead and I just Put this in and then you're gonna want to do it really quick So if you have a coffee grinder if you have a setting this one is just kind of free pour so you just push it and then it does it So I'm gonna do it like About like six I just want to make sure 
and it smells really good. So if you have this, oh, oh, makes a mess. <laughs> Me cleaning up my life. <laughs> um, I'm just maybe a little bit more. Dude, this is gonna be so fucking messy. My mom's gonna sock me in the mouth. So you want to do it about like six, seven, eight, or nine times. I don't know, somewhere where it looks good. You just want it to be like kind of coarse. You don't want it to be too um, boronitas because if you do, then it's not going to work, okay? I'm trying not to make a fucking mess. Uh, whatever. Okay, so I have the coffee. You want it to make sure that it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it wants. it has to be really thick consistency, okay? I gotta come out with a better fucking method. So I'm re I'm using regular filters. I don't know how else you could do this. I guess you could use like those tea diffuser things, but nobody has time or money to do that, okay? So I'm just gonna use a regular coffee one. I use the like coned kind of one. So use this like this, and then I open this up right here, and then I grab the coffee grinds, and then I just pour it in, okay? Like that. So then it looks just like this. You see how it's all like nice and boronitas as fuck? That's what you want. You want it to be really thick and coarse. And it smells so fucking good. I'm yellow de gatos. So now this is how I fold it. So in case if they fucking burst into your thing, just get a coladera and then just whatever, just pour it. It's not a big deal, okay? Life isn't perfect, okay? Like we're not getting paid to do this shit. This is for your own fucking pleasure. If you have a little fucking grain of coffee in there, well, then just drink it, bitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make sure, make that little pouch. I'm going to fold it once very thinly on top to do it like this. And then I'm going to fold it right onto the side right here. You just don't, you want to just make sure, oh, all right, <laughs> don't do that. You want to make sure that none of the coffee greens, coffee grounds escape. And then I'm going to do one more here like a fucking butterfly. Bitch, I feel like I'm a first grade teacher. Okay, kids, you're going to crisscross, you're going to fold it like a hot dog. And then you're gonna make sure that you're gonna do it just like this so it's sealed so you're not fucking making a mess. And then do it one more time, just like this. And apriétalo bien. Don't do that. Apriétalo bien. Am I nervous? I think I am. Just make sure that it's kind of really well done. And then it's gonna be like this, okay? So this is gonna be your first one. And then what I'm gonna do to make sure that's fucking foolproof so it doesn't fucking fall because this has happened to me so many fucking times and I get so pissed off. You're gonna get it the way that you folded it. And then you're gonna get another one and then you're gonna stick it in like that. Okay? So that way it's fucking foolproof, bitch. And then squeeze it in like this, squeeze it in like that and then make a little pouch. So for sure, like this shit is not gonna fucking come out, okay? And if it does spill, it's just gonna spill in this baggie, okay? So I have the first one done right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your fucking tambongasazo and you're gonna gently make sure that you put it in very slowly. I like to place it in like this so they'll all fit, okay? So that's the first one. You're gonna do this two more times because like I said, you're gonna do three scoops it's nine scoops of coffee for three water bottles, okay? So let me just do this really quick. I might fucking fast forward this part because, you know, this shit's boring as fuck. One, two, they give on three. All right, cool. And then grab this little shit. Fuck, I'm literally making such a pain. I think about like 10 times would be good. You know what I mean? I gotta do this one more fucking time, bitch. This is why I didn't want to do this tutorial because I was like, fuck, this is gonna take hella time. This is gonna be like 30 fucking minutes long. Just in case if you missed the last two, because I'm gonna get a question. What? How many scoops? <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right, this is the last one here. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, bitch. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Fuck! Dude, I'm fucking laughing already. I, you know, sometimes when I record, I'm like, fuck. When I watch this later on, I'm gonna be fucking laughing. Okay, I'm getting fucking nervous because I don't want this shit to spill and I feel like the whole world's looking at me right now. They're like, don't smell it, Kevin. Now that it's all fucking done, 
you're gonna put this last one in like this. Just stuff that shit in there. Stop it, bitch. Okay, so now that you have your fucking empanadas in here. <laughs> so this is the fun part, okay? So now that you have your um, iced coffee already set to go, I'm just gonna use three water bottles. That way, <sighs> measurement's hard. I did so much fucking math, bitch. I felt like I was in fucking calculus. So just go ahead and use, you can use regular agua. This is 16 ounces, 16.9 ounces. Do the fucking math if you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it in. Pour it up, pour it up. I feel like Rihanna. Pour it up, pour it up. Power it up, power it up. Oh, I have to fucking pee now. There's one of this. Number two. Oh uh, yeah. And you're using cold water. You're not. You're not using hot water because if you use hot water, this is the moment where I knew I fucked up. Fuck. Oh. I'm literally the fucking dumbest person on the planet, and my mom's gonna fucking kick my ass. Dude! Toda la pinche agua se cayó because this fucking shit was on. Fuck! I'm turning red. I'm just gonna let it soak. Anyways, so just go ahead and just keep on pouring it in. <laughs> I'm literally fucking laughing. <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking stupid. So now that you have your water, just go ahead and just close this up like this. Now you're gonna let this steep for an entire 24 hours. So put this in the fridge and let it do it. Give it a little like shake a shake, but make sure that it doesn't spill out. Um, you're gonna leave this for 24 hours until it steeps and this water turns fucking black. You make sure that you wanna have your water super, super dark because that's what a cold brew is, okay? So I will be back in 24 hours to go ahead and finish this for you guys. And I'm super excited, okay? I'll see you in 24 hours, okay? Let me fucking clean this shit. Las gafas, welcome back. Okay, so this is day number two. This has been 24 hours exactly. The cold brew is officially done. It came out so fucking good. The bolsas stayed inside because I did it really, really well. You can see a little bit of peaking, but it's still just all intact, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to make the motherfucking drink, okay? So like I said, you can make this in big batches so it's pretty good for like I think like I want to say up to a week it'll be good for seven days so if you make a whole bunch you can literally have coffee every fucking day and you don't have to pay for it so I think it's a little bit cheaper than actually going to Starbucks every fucking day so you can get whatever glass you're gonna take to work to school to your boyfriend's house girlfriend, whatever I don't know so we're gonna have this is 20 ounces so you can do whatever size you want but this is the one that I get you can use Starbucks is simple syrup. This is like a vanilla. You can use any other flavor. If you like caramel more, if you like vanilla, traditionally macchiatos have vanilla. Go ahead and go get any fucking syrup you want. Go to Walmart, go to Target. They have different syrups. They have vanilla ones, there's French vanilla ones. Buy that instead. You don't have to buy this one because this one's kind of expensive. I think it's like $12.99, so it's kind of expensive, okay? So this is how you make the macchiato. So usually Starbucks has pumps, but they're bitches and they didn't want to give me one. So I was like, oh, all right. So I'm just going to use a spoon. So you use like about one tablespoon. So if this is going to be like a large, I'm going to do like four or five. So this is two, three. I don't like my stuff really, really sweet because I'm already full and I don't want to get more fat. So you put as much as you want. If you like a little sweeter, then put more. If you like a little less sweet, then put less and then do whatever you want. Then I got this caramel sauce at Target. I'm pretty sure you can buy this anywhere. You don't have to use this brand. If there's another brand that you have, then go ahead and feel free to use that instead, okay? So I like it with extra caramel drizzle because I know y'all bitches be eating extra caramel all the time at Starbucks. So go ahead and just use this. This is cool because it's a little taponcito. And this is how I do it, okay? So you grab the bottle and when you do extra caramel, you're just going to go up and down and then you're going to like... Do it all over the cup, okay? If you like a little bit more on the bottom, then go ahead and just add a little swirl, but that's that's it. Now you can use any type of milk you want. I've already drank my Mikago pills, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna shit my pants. Um, but this here is half and half. I don't recommend you use fucking half and half unless you fucking fat as fuck. It's gonna be really good, but just get regular milk. I didn't have any other regular milk, so I'm just gonna use this because, but this, this shit about to taste so fucking bomb. 
So go ahead and then just add your milk. You don't have to use this. You can, I don't recommend you using this at all. I think you should use just like regular 2% whole milk. If you wanna use soy or coconut milk, then use that bitch. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of yelitos on top. Bitch, it looks like a macchiato already. And then the last, the last thing you're gonna do on top is you're gonna pour your iced coffee, okay? So I poured it in this cup already because I wasn't gonna be like, Ugh, and it was gonna fall off. So then you're just gonna go ahead and then pour your iced coffee on top. I think I put too much milk, fuck. I shook it in this cup here so it gets a little foamy or whatever. And then you see that all the dark coffee is just gonna fall. I wouldn't put so much milk. I would put half the milk that I did because you want it a little bit more darker. And then, you're gonna go ahead and get your little coffee and then it's a traditional caramel macchiato so you're gonna do i just spilled that shit didn't i you're gonna go left and right and then you're gonna do two circles around don't spill the caramel like i did and this is your instant starbucks caramel macchiato hack bitch just say oh what you drinking you just be like oh bitch it's a little starbucks what about you bitch so go ahead and let's taste it okay bitch oh Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. This is so fucking good. I would don't put too much milk because I put too much milk. Put more iced coffee instead. So do half and half. That's a little bit too creamy, but super fucking bomb, super cheap. I would rather I think you should do this instead of going to Starbucks every fucking day, dude, because it literally adds up. If you spend five dollars every single day, dude, you could be having this at a way, way cheaper price. The coffee beans cost like about like twelve dollars. This costs another twelve dollars. So what is that? Twenty. It's like twenty four dollars. So then it's like five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. That's like one week's worth of Starbucks macchiatos getting it Monday through Friday. So if you just save your money on this, invest it. You can be having really good tasting coffee, and it's super cheap, and no one's gonna fucking know, bitch. Just say that at Starbucks, and you're like, yeah, bitch, here it is. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. If you like the, more of these, like, fucking ball on the budget hacks, let me know, and I can do some more for you. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure you like, oh, my Dude, the coffee's, like, really strong, and I'm like, sus, sus, sus. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. My Instagram and YouTube are the same. It's KPXII, but my Twitter and Snapchat are official KPXII. Um, yeah, if you guys want any other videos, let me know, and I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you leave a comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Thanks. Bye. Dude, the fucking coffee, I'm like, <laughs> it's really, really strong. So I'm just letting you know that right now. It's a little bit strong, because we're just, <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in okay? Thanks. Bye. Up in the air, I want you to jump. Jump.